What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. It is March 31st, heading into April tomorrow. We are looking at Casper. It is moving once again to the upside. What a great sight to see. We're going to take a look at a couple scenarios here on the chart. Probably going to be a pretty quick video. So we're on trading view. We're looking at a daily chart of Casper slash Tether USD up on the left hand side. You can see that. So we're moving nice today. It looks like we're fading a bit. We are up four and a half percent. Definitely nothing to complain about. So far for the candle of the 31st, we put in what looks to be close to a double top here. So today's high was on the money, the exact tick. I will show you that to the high over here on the 18th of March. So far having a little bit of a struggle getting above that high, but we are moving nice to the upside. And we have many, many hours to go before today's candle is over, as you can see down here. Many, many hours to go here. So that's what we're moving. That's what we're looking at right now. We put in a double top. And if you take a look at this high, so the 18th of March, the high was 890. And then let's go ahead and go to a smaller time frame. I really enjoy, and perhaps this will help you out. If you're doing short-term trading, um, preferably like intraday, I like the three-minute chart. The three-minute daily chart is what I found to be the best. So, hey, maybe that'll help somebody out there. So that uh, other high was 890. And if you look at today, we hit a high of 890 on the tick. So far, that is a double top, at least for the short, short term. And time will tell how long that holds. I think if the markets are going to move, that hold, that high will not hold for too long and we will blast through it. But we're moving nice today. You can see the prices. Now, this is on the small time frame. We're messing around with this over here, this high. It would be nice to turn that into support. And you can see we're basically trading below it. So this range right in here is a battle when it comes to this high over here. And now we're back above it. So it'd be nice to turn that into support, but who knows what will happen here. So let's go back to the daily chart. So that's the, that was the three minute daily chart. And you can see how it, it really breaks it down for a short-term trading view. I've always found it to be the best. Some people use the five minute, 15 minute, three minute, that is my go-to. So here we are back on the daily chart. And so far we had that really, and I've mentioned this in probably all the Casper videos, but I really like to go back and talk about it. The double bottom we put back in here. So we had a the bottom down in here in July of 21, massive, massive consolidation, sideways trading action. And then we came back and retested that right here. So that is a floor of support. And we were talking about that as it was happening to keep your eye out, keep your eye on that for a floor of support, as you can see with the white horizontal line that that could be playing out right now and we could see a double tap and then we'll definitely we definitely expecting some kind of reaction to the upside that's pretty typical when you get moves like this and it flips it flips around so when you get a so you'll have a major you know this is all all short term talking stuff here this is a major top here and then you have a major top here right so you if you flip that upside down, it would look like what we were talking about down here with these bottoms. 
So you have a double top and then you'll get some kind of reaction. So usually on a double top, you'll get a reaction to the downside. And usually on a double bottom, you'll get a reaction to the upside. So just some food for thought, a little bit of a stepped back view, nothing too crazy. I don't go, I don't dig too deep into technical analysis exactly, but it is something to keep your eye on. And if you pick up on these things, you'll notice them over time on many different stocks and cryptos and other things like that. So that is that. Let me get rid of this chart here. We also mentioned as that double bottom was unfolding down in here that we thought this bar, which is the March 15th bar, looked like it could have been a bottom. And looking back, at least it was for now. Basically, we had a range and then we basically close unchanged. Now, the chart tells me that the selling has dried up. The buyers and the sellers have basically met evenly and there is no more downside price action to come. So obviously, looking back, that has worked for now. Who knows what the future will hold here. But as of now, we are moving higher. Sometimes on a bottom, you'll see a candle like this one over here. You'll get a massive waterfall move to the downside. And then what, what was that date? That was the 26th of September. You'll get a massive move to the downside. And then you'll get a big, big wick. And then it'll close up or sometimes even close in the green. And that is pretty typical of bottoms as well. And that was the bottom for that time frame. So a couple more things here. Um, jumping back to this bottom over in here. When, mar when market opportunity presents itself, you must take action. It will not hang around for long. If you look down here in my screen, I have a quote. And that is referring to this bottom over here, at least the bottom for now, on, the, on March 22nd. When market opportunity presents itself, it will not you must take action. It will not hang around for long. And that's referring to right down in here. And it's referring to all kinds of market opportunity when it comes to ex extremes in either direction. So you'll get extreme downside moves where markets bottom. And there's a lot of ways to, um, to tell that you're at or very close to a market bottom and vice versa at the top when people are basically tripping over each other to buy an asset. And that is the top. You can look at, um, you know, just one that comes to mind. There's many is, is Dogecoin. I mean, people are, people were freaking out to get in Dogecoin at the top. And that was an opportunity for those who are looking to take the other side of that trade. Vice versa, when markets collapse to the downside, Sentiment is very bearish. People are very scared. News headlines could not get worse. Well, the market is presenting some opportunity for those who want to step up to the plate and get into the opposite trade to a long position. So down in here, we were we were accumulating Casper. We were accumulating Casper all along this move here. And we were waiting for this double bottom to come into play. So far it has anything is possible in the markets though. They could roll over, of course. But I wanted to share that with you. Market opportunity, when market opportunity presents itself, you must take action. It will not hang around for long. What people forget or perhaps don't know is if you always did what felt good in the markets, you will not make money. A lot of the things that you need to do in the market at the time do not feel good. So buying down in here as you've had multiple red days in a row and the price is dropping, the price is dropping. If you're long, that doesn't feel good. But looking back, that was the right thing to do is step up to the plate and picking up shares of this example would have been Casper. All right, so a couple more things here. So we're going to take a Fibonacci and we're going to throw it on the chart. 
Now, I don't know how much validity this has. I mean, this, I'm going to use this high over here on the 8th of February. And I will explain why in a second. So we'll take a fib level here. We'll go to this swing high. And then we'll go down to the recent swing low right about there. And then we'll zoom in. And you can see, and I mentioned this in yesterday's video as well, but I want to show you a couple things. You can see that once again, we are bumping our head on the 786 fib level, which is this horizontal light blue line on the chart. And over here on the 18th of March, we bumped our head on it. And then today, once again, as we do this shorter term double top, we bump our head on it once again. So you can see why we're finding resistance there. It's at a 786 fib level. So let's say we get above that. Looks like the market's moving back up five and a quarter percent up to the upside. You can see our our next area where we could potentially find some overhead resistance like we have so far today is at this uh, looks like this 980 level. And then above that big old move to the upside gets us up to that. Looks like that 12 cent range. And then if you zoom out, you can see the upper 16, 21, 23. And then um, if we zoom down here all the way up to the 34 fib. Now this is just using this, this move here. The 34 fib is way up here at a dollar 52 and so on. So that is using that high over here. So, and I use that high to show you, well, one, the double top at the 786 according to that move. But two, if I take a more major high, like over in here, let's zoom out here. So we'll take this swing high to this swing low. You can see that we're under the 236, so it doesn't give me much of a roadmap. Now it does show me that a more of a major, because this is a more of a longer term move, so more of a major term high would be at the 983 level, which is right here, which would also correlate quite perfectly with that other high we used. So you can see how these major highs correlate with FIB levels, even at different areas. So that was probably more of a major area to look for is that 983, once we break above the high of the 890, which is also the 18th of March high. So. We will see what happens here. We got to get above this 890 level sooner than later, of course. And then we're probably heading up, up into this zone or up into this zone up in here, that 12 cent range. So that is just a couple things that I see on the Casper chart. And let's take something a little bit more significant here. For those who are still watching the video, greatly appreciate it. So we'll take up, oh, ran out of, uh, so I'm using the free trading view here. Let me see if I can refresh this, get back to this. Ah, there we go. So we'll take a different approach here to end this video on a pretty cool scenario, the ultimate scenario. So we'll take this high over here and we'll go down to the swing low, which was there. And this lays out some very, very cool FIB levels on the chart. So you could see getting us up to some of these upper FIB levels really, really sets us on a higher price projection. And it's fun to do these to let your mind run. There's many assets that have hit these FIB levels and it is, it's very interesting to start throwing these on your charts. So take a major swing high to a, over here actually was the swing low and it'll lie out these FIB levels. And do we get to, do we get to all of these up here? Well, we could, 
it could take a long time but the more interesting thing that i see is that casper is under the 236 and if you throw these fibs on assets that have run you can look back and say and see and say to yourself that when assets are under this 236 fib level they are at a great accumulating area and casper is quite a bit below that 236 which is right around that 16 cent range so besides the double bottom besides all of these upper fib levels forecasting that this thing could make one hell of a move to the upside take away all that this thing is still below the 236 so we are accumulating this thing we think it's going much much higher not financial advice always do your own research so you can see i mean if this thing makes a full 34 retracement you're up in the 16 dollar range could take a year could take two years who knows but even these lower fibs are in the two to three dollar range so all right everybody that is going to wrap it up for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for taking time out of your day to watch these videos we're just keeping our eye on at least for today that 890 level that double top that we have so far but one day at a time to get us up to these higher prices one more thing before i end this video is this whole area in here this is a giant consolidation a giant basing structure and at some point this thing will break out above it so keep that in the back of your mind when the prices are fluctuating to sideways and not doing much we will get a break above these highs it is only a matter of time and it will probably probably be quite a strong move there is a lot of energy built up in this basing structure and when you get that especially over a long period of time moves the moves that happen are very powerful welcome to the channel thanks once again links down in the video description greatly appreciate it have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next video